Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mustak, and today we are here with another Main Association of Math Leagues problem, October 2010, round 2, problem 1. So we're not, now we're doing a different topic, inequalities and absolute values, so each round has a different topic, and this that, that's what our topic is. So we, we got away from star operations. Okay. There is only one point with integer values for x and y that satisfies x is greater than negative 2, y is greater than x, and y is less than the absolute value of x. Find the point. Now the point that they want us to find is x, y. So we have to remember that. That's what x and y is, okay? So if you, you have to know what x and y mean. Also, you have to notice... This. Y is great greater than X, but Y is less than the absolute value of X. So we can write that like this. First comes the absolute value of X, and then Y is greater than that. No. First comes X, and then Y is greater than that, and then absolute value of X is greater than that. So here we have x is less than the absolute value of x. And when x is less than the absolute value of x, then x is negative, or x is less than 0. So its distance from 0 is positive, which means its absolute value of x is positive, but x itself is negative. So, for example, we have negative 1, and the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. So, negative 1 is less than the absolute value of negative 1. And that only happens when x is negative. So, now we know that x is negative, so x is less than 0. We also know that x is greater than negative 2, so negative 2 is less than x. And we also know that they have integer values. So, if we have an, an integer between negative 2 and 0, that must be negative 1. So, x equals negative 1. So, now we found x. Now, we can guess and check for y. Now, how do we guess and check for y? Well, we know that y is greater than x, so y is greater than negative 1. So we can just start with 0, 1, 2, and then keep going. So first, let's check Let's check if 0 works. So we're checking x equals negative 1 and y equals 0. x is greater than negative 2. Negative 1 is greater than negative 2. That checks. y is greater than x. 0 is greater than negative 1, that checks, because that's true. And y is less than the absolute value of x. 0 is less than the absolute value of negative 1. 0 is less than 1. And that's true, so that checks. So all three of those statements check, so that means this must be our answer. x equals negative 1, and y equals 0. Now, that might be a little bit confusing if you're not familiar. If you didn't recognize this, then this problem might have been a bit more confusing. But you have to recognize that when x is less than the absolute value of x, then x is negative, or x is less than 0. And that's just a good fact to know. So, for math competitions, x is less than the absolute value of x means x is less than 0. x equals the absolute value of x means x equals 0. And x is greater than the absolute value of x is x is greater than 0. Now, I know that these are three conditionals or statements that you have to memorize. But they're good to know for math competitions. They, they, you know, they just come up a lot. And they can make you do problems faster. Another thing you have to recognize is... Once you had x is less than 0, you had to combine that with x is greater than negative 2. And so we had to get it into negative 2 is less than x is less than 0. So if you can get terms, you can get inequalities in forms of b is greater than a and b is less than a and b is less than c is le into a is less than b is less than c, then you ordered these numbers. So you're saying A, B, C, that's in increasing order. And I, I find that putting things in order using the inequalities can really help. We actually did the same thing here. So Y is greater than X and Y is less than the absolute value of X. So we put those in increasing order. 
so x is less than y is less than the absolute value of x and that helps us see that x was less than the absolute value of x and the same thing here this helped us see that x was in between negative 2 and 0 so that means x had to equal negative 1. so from then on once you've manipulated absolute value and the inequalities you can discuss and check and you find the answer almost instantly it's negative 1 and 0. Oh, and that's the point, negative 1, 0. So x, y equals negative 1, 0. And you can graph that on a coordinate plane, which is why it's a point. So yeah. A lot of simple concepts here, but you have to know those concepts in order to solve this problem. So I thought this was a good problem to do. If you know these concepts, then I feel like it'll help you in math competitions. So yeah. I hope you had fun doing this problem and... Have fun doing math.